My name is Alyssa Bailey, and I am running for state representative for District 62, which encompasses most of Greene County, the western side of Monroe County, and parts of Martin and Davies County. And I am actually, I reside currently in Bloomfield, Indiana, in Greene County. So I received my special education license in 2011 and I've been teaching special education at WRV Elementary since 2014. And I actually went back and received my master's in special education in 2019. So every day I work with and advocate for students with intellectual and developmental disabilities as well as their families. I help teach students academic, social, and life skills and share resources with families so that people with disabilities don't just participate, but that they're accepted and able to thrive in our communities. So I collaborate also with a wide variety of professionals, and I'm aware of the types of additional and related services that can be provided, and I am aware of the process of helping get these services implemented as well. So first off, I just want to say that direct support professionals are so important, and I thank the past, present, and future DSPs for the work that they do to advocate for individuals with disabilities. Uh, so thank you. And the Indiana General Assembly can support DSPs, disability programs, services, and supports by protecting funding and ensuring that adequate funding is available for essential Medicaid services, especially through throughout state budget cuts that um, happen and we think are gonna happen, especially due to COVID. So I would support legislation to ensure that proper funding is available and utilized towards needed supports, including direct support professionals. That we experienced a pendulum swing where the focus went to college education and our vocational programs as a whole suffered from this. So we're starting to see that shift back to promoting our workforce ready students out of high school. But in 2017, the state acknowledged insufficient resources for vocational rehabilitation services and implemented the order of selection, which is the process pr that prioritizes the consumer services to individual with the most significant disability. And when the agency doesn't have sufficient resources to serve all eligible individuals. So this leads to many families having to self advocate for their children with disabilities and it also furthers the gap between families that do not have the resources to self-advocate and those that do. So I will support legislation that ensures our vocational rehabilitation services are adequately funded and that students that qualify are able to have opportunities in the workforce. Medicaid funding for people with disabilities is crucial. So it allows people with disabilities and their families access to services that provide community-based, non-institutional supports that provide additional opportunities, therapies, medical equipment, respite care, and enable inclusive communities. So for example, look at the Home and Community-Based Services Waiver Program. It provides individualized supports to assist people of all ages to live successfully in home and community settings. And in the past, Medicaid only made paid for the long-term services in an institutional setting, such as the nursing facilities or group homes. So instead, this waiver program waives the necessity of admission into an institution and allows Medicaid to pay home and community-based services. So that's just one example of one of their waiver programs. So without Medicaid and waiver programs, many of our families and individuals with disabilities would not be able to access these essential supports that allow them to be a part of and contribute to an inclusive community. So we need to make Medicaid funding a priority, especially even though, you know, I know COVID, it's a budget year, we're going to have cuts. It's brought a lot of things into light, but this is something that we cannot forego. This is not something that we can allow a lot of cuts to. It's very important. <laughs> 